I'm Andrew Bennett, Eddie Bauer's Sports Shop Guide. We are on the Upper Columbia River, staying at Black Bear Lodge, fishing with a guy named Jack Mitchell and his crew, and we are uh, a stone's throw from British Columbia. Working as a guide with Eddie Bauer is, is really a, a great process. Um, we get really involved in both sort of thinking about products and then doing, you know, testing and, and giving a ton of design input. Another thing that I appreciate about being involved is that we get to do a lot of pretty amazing trips to fantastic places. I'm Lel Tone, Eddie Bauer Ski Guide. In the wintertime, I spend most of my time in the Tordrillo Range guiding heli skiing. And it's been such an amazing thing to be able to do that for 17 years of my life and have a lot of incredible experiences in the mountains with people. And, you know, I talked over with Jack two days ago that we are some of the luckiest people to be able to do what we do and have the offices we have. Him here on the river and me in the mountains. So it's a gift. I mean, you're gonna have to set the hook sometimes, right? And like you did. Uh, and too much slack gets in the way. Yeah. And not enough doesn't allow you to, to drift, does it? So it's kind of a happy medium. We're going to do that same thing right there again. That's for dog on sure. It's been an incredible experience to be guided, you know, and I see how much you can get from a situation when you have somebody talking you through the process. I have an eye for snow. I have an eye for the way the wind affects the snow and the way it lays on the surface of a mountain. We're doing a variety of techniques, which I really appreciate. We're fishing a lot of big dry flies, which is super fun. Um, obviously, the you know the visual element of watching trout eat on the surface, especially big flies, is great. Um, we're also swinging. Um, I like fishing two-handed rods, and I've been fishing a little 11-foot five-weight uh, switch rod, making making little spay casts and uh, catching fish on the swing as well. Hey. On a river like this one, I mean, the, the value of a, of a guide who really knows what they're doing and who knows the water well is just, it, it's in, incredibly crucial. If I was, you know, I've fished in a lot of places, if I was to show up on this river and try to have success, I would have a hard time. The river's huge. Um, we talk a lot on big water about how you need to look for the river within the river and sort of look for structure and, and you know, currents and seams that you would find in a smaller river. Especially on a huge river like the Columbia, there's certain places that look good and they're not. And, and there are some places that you're, you know, you're consistently going to be surprised. And so it's not just knowing what to look for, it's having put a lot of days in on these specific pieces of water and understanding you know, what, what's going to go well and what's not. It's been really cool to compare my experiences guiding in heli skiing and the way Jack guides this river, you know, and we're accessing the upper Columbia, a lot of water with a jet boat. And it's very similar to heli skiing in that you're covering a ton of terrain, you're covering at a high rate of speed. You can work a lot of that river and have a lot of success given these jet boats. We 
fishing in a spot yesterday looking for fish on one side of a particular current and on this river um, there are a lot of giant seams and giant back eddies um, you know where the river is actually flowing back up river right along the shoreline. On the other side of the river in a back eddy we saw a fish rise and we kind of clambered over there and um, were able to make some casts and catch a, catch a really really nice rainbow on the surface. story and indicative of how much opportunity there is on a river like this one where you know we landed that fish and Jack said you know in all the years that I've been fishing here I've never fished that spot and so it just goes to show you a couple things one is there is a ton of water here on the Columbia the other is no matter how much time you spend in a place you got to always pay attention and uh, you know be thinking about the new spot and understand where the fish might be and um, and you know when you see something as promising as a rising fish um, go get after it it's a bacon double cheeseburger. It's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna throw it in the water, it's gonna like unravel in a second. But... No. <laughs> fish with Jack. He's taught me so much in the last few days and I have definitely been working on my fly fishing game. You know, came into this with a little rough around the edges um, and he's been able to kind of fine tune my technique and teach me so much. The biggest thing that first day was coming into an incredible situation. Fish were biting and going after the fly and it was really exciting and a couple times you know I just sat a little too hard and lost a couple fish. Two more down that run. What do you think? Is this fun or what? <laughs> to try a couple different styles of fishing here with Jack. And, uh, you know, we've been able to fish from the boat where we're working a section of water and he, there he is at the oars just coaching you through the whole process. See that seam, right there past the seam, right there on the hard line. And, you know, you're just, it's like a frenzy and it's really, really exciting and really dynamic. And especially when you're getting to work the water with somebody else on the boat. Bennett and I had an incredible last stretch of water. He got a fish on and I got a fish on and leaders were breaking and having him by my side with a little more coaching, things kind of came together even more for me. And um, it was fun to be able to, to feel that my cast has been improving over the days and that I can at least start to set the fly down where I want it to be. And um, so it was really fun to have him at my side and helping me out and giving me some pointers. And uh, yeah, it's been great to have him on this trip as well.
river is always very peaceful and you know even though I haven't gotten a lot of fishing time in my life it definitely offers a certain peace to be in that water up to your waist casting away as the sun sets it's a pretty great way to reset.